Hey everybody, I wanted to give a little update of what I've been doing on the Festiva here. You can see I've got the pump and motor, pump and motor temporarily mounted within the car and I will probably drill through here some 3 16 bolts, maybe three, three of those little aircraft screws I use that are a lot like these guys here, really good strong aircraft screws. A few of those there to that uh, pinch seam on the firewall and that ought to do just fine for holding it on. See I've got a really healthy ground right there and um, let's see so a uh, couple things since I showed you this vacuum system last time I've made myself a check valve I used two of these these um, quarter inch national pipe thread to barb type fittings and a dual NPT quarter inch coupling inside there's a little ball there's no spring or anything just the ball there's very little play between the end of those two barbs there and then at the end of this barb there's a small piece of wire soldered in so that the ball doesn't close the valve that way but only when the air flows that way. So um, that way it maintains a vacuum that's stored in our little propane bottle vacuum reservoir there. And I've got the micro switch and there's a little improvement I'd like to make with that. I want to insert a spring on the inside of this oil can such that um, it increases the amount of vacuum it takes to open the switch and that way I should um, should be able to get a little more braking force. I know the pump can pump more than the switch is allowing it to currently. And the last thing I've done on that is this little guy right here, which is a cute little muffler that I put on the output side of that pump. And it's just PVC fittings to brass fittings, and it's got some holes, holes drilled in the end of it there, and a little bit of um, just some shop towel. Uh, on the inside for a muffler material. That stuff's all really neat. However, what I'm really here to show you is the work that I made on installing the turbocharger. Here we've got the exhaust outlet of the engine and normally this used to just go straight underneath to the back of the car. Now, however, you can see I've curved it down. Well, maybe you can't see because I can't get anything to focus here. All right, so it curves down. Uh, can you see it in here? Not really. So the exhaust line there runs down along the front, underneath the alternator, and never mind my welds. I was having quite a bit of problems with my welder when I was putting this together, but they should be serviceable. I guess I could grind them down, or even paint them would make them look better. But. Anyhow, so then it comes back up again. And that doesn't do anything. It comes back up again. And you can see I've fitted this together just using a whole bunch of pre bent little pieces. Just fitting them, cutting them, and welding them, tacking them together until I got what I wanted. Uh, and then I got this little flange right here, which came with the turbocharger. And the turbocharger. We'll bolt right up to that. And then, when that's in place, I can come up from underneath with this little beauty. And then it's got a, it's got a flange on it here. Also bolts to the turbocharger. And Curves up and around, and yeah, those are bad. Blew a hole, and I got to fix that. And not weld it up yet. Maybe I got to use my settling torch to do this. I don't know. My welder is flux core, and probably be a lot better to use a solid wire and shielding gas with uh, thin stuff like this. Flux core works fine for thick stuff. I just can't get it to work well though. This thin material. That's just EMT conduit that came pre-bent little pieces and uh, see I sanded off the galvanization so I didn't expose myself to zinc fumes when I welded that. Seemed to work just fine. Anyhow, so I've got the uh, got the little last little bit of the exhaust line to figure out. I only have one last little part to weld on there which is a flange to the rest of the exhaust system. Got to figure out how to do the intake, 
which I believe I left enough room for, but it's going to be tight. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to get the size reduced properly. Then the outlet of the turbocharger has got to interface with this guy somehow. This goes down to the intake of the engine there. And I got to get the oil input line plumbed in and the oil outlet, which will probably have to go down. Hopefully I can get a little barb or something put right underneath that flange right there is um, is the oil pan so perhaps I can maybe get a fitting in there somewhere to return the oil I hope so and once I get that done I should be good to go um, I might need some gaskets for the connections to the turbocharger other than that I pretty darn close it's exciting uh, over and out.